Good morning. Today I did the reading at 6.59 a.m. Today is December 7th, 2024. It is a 27 or 27 day, and that will be a nine. Our polarities today are water and fire, which is a very interesting one. The fire puts water out, or excuse me, the water puts fire out. So what do we have here? We have the three of cups, which is going to relate to our water. We have it in the second decan of cancer, a cardinal house, and it will be mercury, our fourth house of family and ancestry. The two major arcanas that go with this cardinal house are the magician and the chariot. This is about abundance versus scarcity. Thinking life has a zero-sum game. Many now in deep anxiety. Many deal silently. Our five of wands suggests there's a bit of heat in our celebration that many have magical thinking at this time. Our home and planet under great pressures to support us. And how we treat her matters, for as above, so below, as within, so without. We are at a tipping point at this time. Some feeling a sense of safety as the walls close in on us. In cancer, we are a crab with hard armor. In the fourth house as a crab, we are vulnerable as bottom feeders. As we attempt to avoid being crushed by the weight of the densest of water, our three of cups reminds us it takes three trimesters to birth a child. It takes three graces to reverse depression and bring joy. And three fates spin our destinies. Today, a nine, our needing to retreat and educate ourselves as we follow this three phase process. We are the woman, the maiden, and the crone. And the pressures are deeply in place. Five of Wands, fire. This is going to relate to the first decan in our fifth house, Leo, and it is a fixed energy. Saturn, the two major arcanas are the world and strength. Someone is having a moment under the sun, Sagittarius. Our sun currently is in the 12th house of hidden enemies in a state of self-undoing. There is a bit of a missed piece of information we must recall. Like one side, we also have new skills and we will respond appropriately. Our strength and vitality has very much changed. For many at this time, it's about Puritanism, somehow thinking that acts of purity upon another buys them something. Yet we forget, as we do these things to each other, our children are watching as we dismantle for the lustful ones. Yes. We do feel threatened. I know I do. And this hot fixed fire upon our heads with all the blame that can possibly be mustered. Never forget this first decan of Leo managed by Kronos Saturn. Because he has envy and lust, he's even willing to swallow his own children for his own gain. 
This greed is his platform at our expense. Our par excellence is over. And duress is truly on our heads at this time. But let us not forget, Pluto is in Aquarius. And this is a huge shift. We can't outmaneuver the stars. No one on this planet can. Those who wish now to be in total control need to remember they must also carry the weight of that said control. A collapse is now in, uh, imminent and necessary. We are in a state of human rights violations that have become sanctioned by our own process through people agreeing through pieces of paper to lose our human rights. Where does this lead to? Well, personally, I don't need daddy to approve of me. And why so many of you do, I don't know. She may maneuver our planet Earth for the sake of her family. But it isn't happening in health and happiness anymore. And I suspect that we may see some very virile and bestial processes as we are in late stage Sagittarius. And of course, our Leo is a bestial feral sign. So both indicate that we are kind of in a process now as families where we have animals managing us. With that, like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for joining me.